Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, sorry about the noise behind us. Uh, the, uh, brought it back from the state of Illinois. Okay, so it was a good drive back. Uh, let's take a look at it. If you notice, um, the rear is real where the damage is. It's been hit a couple times, looks like, and it's got some duct tape holding it. So I'm going to take that off and see what the damage is. Um, it's not torn or anything like that really badly, but uh, i got to see if all the clips are there. Um, looking around the side, there is some rear door damage. Looks like they hit something or scraped something or somebody hit them or whatever, but uh, the door is damaged. But the door itself functions fine, so don't really care about that too much. Uh, and coming around the front, there is this corner damage. I think this one, we can, I can do the hot water and it will probably pop out and retain most of its shape if I can get these heavy creases out of the way. But uh, taking a look inside the engine, Looks like there are signs of some uh, maybe valve cover gasket, um, you know, not sealing as well, and maybe this is, it was going to need a, a valve cover gasket. Otherwise, it's got some Midwestern rust, like it's you know, like everything from the Midwest, um, and some other things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to warm up the engine, clean out this before I put it on the lift, and take a look at the underside. I've also noticed that the accessory belt is cracked and. Uh, probably doesn't have a long way to go. Um, I don't know how, how old the belts and the hoses are, but if I'm going to change it, I'm probably going to, when I drain it, uh, probably, probably put new thermostat on, new hoses, new belts, uh, new plugs while we're at it, and probably just go through the whole thing. But right now, before I get on the lift, I'm just going to warm up the engine and pretty much uh, degrease it uh, so we can get a clean look because it is fairly filthy in here, okay? So I'll bring you back when I am done with that. All right, everyone. I got, I got it. I got the engine cleaned. Um, I used a little degreaser and washed it out, and I got it up on the lift. And so let's get, uh, let's get a light on it. Um, yeah, there's, there's some road damage, but it's not too bad, really. There's a couple clips missing, but you know, a vehicle of this age, you gotta expect that. Um, and some tears and whatnot, but overall it's in good shape. The thing is the transmission doesn't seem to be this leaking or there's this bone dry, which is good. Um, I believe this is one of those sealed transmissions and I don't think this has got a little bit now over 200,000 miles and I don't think it's ever been serviced. So that's something we have to look at. Um, the, the check engine light that I ran was for a wheel speed sensor, a uh, wheel sensor and a um, oxygen sensor. Well, I checked the wheel sensors and all four wheels are reading properly and they're pretty much equal. So we'll have to see why that's, that created a problem. But you know, just there's a little bit of wetness back here from oil around the mat intake manifold. Um, here's, here's one of the sensors here. We'll have to see how that, that one transpires. That's the heated sensor. Um, but I mean, otherwise, other than a little bit of rust, a little engine mount rust, a little, um, it's not horrible for a vehicle who is about 11 years old living in the Midwest. Um, the majority of the car actually is in bad, is in not bad of a condition. Um, you can tell that the exhaust pipe is pretty much crap but this piece is stainless steel and it's actually held up pretty well but uh, the other parts of the exhaust looks like we got some wear here but I don't think it's completely broken yet but it's close I mean it's it's getting there so that's something I'll have to look out for in the future but everything on the intake manifold side looks clean um, we'll have to take a look at that all the seals look good. Yeah, just a little bit of rust here on the chassis. That's not so bad. Um, yeah, not so bad. Cracking paint, which is normal on a vehicle of this section. Everything seems to work okay. Like I said, there was no rattling. There's no... Um, so that's the visual inspection. Other than lots of rust, yeah. Fill neck tube, all that is just rusted to heck. Uh, but the spare is good. Remember, this is the bumper, and looking into it, even though they got bashed here, 
the actual bumper support looks like it's in good shape. So we're going to take the, uh, the outer covering off. You can tell that the clips have broken off here. And this one is bent down. Um, this, this screw is totally um, apart. But we're going to take that down. We're going to take that off and we're going to try to take the, uh, the covering off and see how badly the, uh, the supports are. But like I said, uh, the rear support looks fine. I, I think they got hit, but it wasn't as bad as maybe, as maybe as they thought. It's not that bad. I mean, these aren't bent. The horns aren't bent. Nothing's bent. Just that the, all the clips got broken off or lost. Look at this one. This is totally bent in. That's where the mount used to be for that right here. And look, there's there it is. It, it got bent totally up. So we got to straighten this out. So we'll have to take the bracket off and basically uh, fix it, okay? So we'll have to do that, straighten it up. And then once we get that, then we can get these mounts taken care of again. And hopefully we can get it all reattached on the rear. I'm gonna use the heat gun to try to uh, loosen up all that old uh, duct tape that they used to hold it in place. But otherwise, I mean, this is what you expect, okay? Uh, sooner or later, the entire exhaust system will probably be, need to be replaced. This is very similar in design to the other vehicle. Um, everything else looks okay for the age. Actually, it's not that bad. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not hugely shocked. Okay, let's put it that way. Looks like there was something that hit here, huh? Look at that. It's actually bent down. So we'll have to fix that. Um, but no, um, everything else looks pretty good. We're going we're gonna to test the joints, we're going to test the ball joints, the tie rod ends, and all that good stuff, and see if we got any looseness or play there. Um, there seems to be, there seems to be just a little bit of play um, over here, but other than just, you know, general rust, it doesn't seem so bad. Okay, so, um, none of the boots are torn, that's good, that's a good sign. Uh, when we do the gas valve cover, we'll probably put in new plugs too at 200,000 miles. Put in some new ir iridium plugs, but I mean, there's no grease sprayed here. The boots are still good. These are the factory originals. I mean, come on. After almost, what, 100,000 miles? I mean, 200,000 miles? I mean, it's actually doing pretty good, I think, you know? So, let's take a look at that. And uh, that's the assessment for this vehicle. Again, this front section, I think a little bit of hot water will release these edges right here enough to get this popped out. And I think it'll be okay, actually. And then we'll, we'll, we'll fix all of the uh, broken, you know, broken components here with some new uh, clips and another clip here. That might be actually a screw, but we'll use a clip. And then we'll get, we'll get this like back up where it's supposed to be. And we'll get it put back together um, as well as we can. Because, you know, I don't think that's going to be a big deal right there. But yeah, I mean, that's it. Um, otherwise, she's a pretty good car, I think. And so, we'll, we'll get the other stuff taken care of. Alright guys, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for uh, watching another review. Um, we're going to get this vehicle hopefully back uh, looking decent. I don't know about the door, but looking decent. Uh, hopefully in back on the road soon so again thank you for uh subscribing thank you for watching another video and we'll see you again soon take care now okay i took the uh rear bumper cover off and all the clips that hold this uh they're pretty much broken so i'm probably gonna have to get a new one on top of the fact that i noticed that afterwards that there is this big dent um, inside so we'll have to try to get that straightened but the actual bumper is actually in good shape except for this portion that lost the plastic cover but again on this side as well there is a big huge dent so it did take a pretty good hit